Hey guys, um, let's make uh, blend shapes in ZBrush. Um, this is a few I did earlier today from an old sculpt, or an improved sculpt, a jaw open and a smile. And after this I will show how, how they're made for those who, who've been asking me. It's, it's fairly simple, you just gotta follow the steps. So these are some, not quite refined, but they're, you know, it's a good start. Blending between them, jaw open, smile, slight smile, trying their inverse like that, seeing what happens. Um, it's not perfect, but it's cool for getting poses or animation and other software eventually and so on. Right, so let us, uh, how much longer, okay. Have a further peek at these ones before I show you how I, how I made them. Some of these faces, I don't know why, remind me of expressions rather. When his mouth's closed and smiling, it reminds me of Jack Nicholson, who happens to be one of my favorite actors ever. Not that, uh, but when his lips are closed. Anyway, there it ends. Let's move on. Let's make a blend shape. So I've got this sculpt that I refined. It's an, uh, one of the first ones I made for Demon, but it sucked ass, so I've made it better today, and now I'm happy with it. Right, so it's decimated down to half a million polys, a bit higher. Control W makes it all one poly group. Then I want to um, auto groups, so it assigns a group to each non contiguous mesh. And now I want to separate the parts. I want to quick. I basically want to do this these steps so I can quickly mask parts of the mesh in order to make blend shapes. You don't have to do this, but I like doing it. It's just easier in the long run. Uh, yeah, make that one poly group. Let's make it a different color to make it more obvious. <coughs> and now we make all of this one poly group. Actually, no, I want the tongue to stay its own poly group. So this all one poly group. So what do we have? We've got the tongue, the teeth, and uh, but we want this bit, the lower jaw, to be part of the, this poly group so it can rotate with the lower jaw, of course. So let us control, paint. In this case, I'm actually going to do the following. I'm going to control, because I don't want to accidentally choose a tongue as well. Tap on this guy. Yeah, that's what I want. And then unpaint what I don't want. Um, so the tongue was definitely not selected whatsoever, which is great. So I just want to work with this guy now. Let's do, whoops, do that just to make sure. That's probably a bit high. Let's make it there. Mm -hmm. think that'll do. So control W will make a poly group from your mask. Uh, I'm going to undo that. I want this to be part as well. Undo. I want this as well. doesn't have to be perfect, but undo. I don't want this. That'll do. So control shift tap in empty space to get the other guys back. As you can see, let me just make this a different color so it's clearer. There we go. Now we select this control shift tap, tap it again, tap this guy, control shift drag, control W. Now it's its own poly group. If you're new to this, it might seem really complicated, all this control shift bollocks, but when you're used to that brush, it's you're very quick with it. Right, so now we've got exactly the poly groups we want. 
now we will control tap this polygroup so if you rotate this now sorry about the it's very harsh and it will be a pain in the ass to fix I don't want it to be there maybe so I'm just testing now so now what you do is you control tap you can see we're feathering out softening the mask just hope it doesn't soften so far as that it chooses the tongue as well let's find out nope it's not doing that hallelujah so here we go perfect so yeah, well, that's a load of wank but it's going in the right direction okay so layers this is the blend shape that's record let's start recording bam everything we do now is recorded onto that layer I'm just testing where best to rotate from. <coughs> Pretending that I know what I'm doing. That's the way to go in life. Just pretend you know what you you know what you're doing. That'll do for now. So control drag, let's clear that mask. Move topological brush. I'm after hot keys for all of this stuff. If you don't know how to make hot keys, research it or ask me and I'll tell you. Keyboard remove away. There we go. Move topological will not move everything along with it. It'll only move non contiguous meshes. So volume will decrease here as you open your mouth, right? Because it's stretched across this surface area, whatever you call it, this space. And this will probably go down a bit as well. The thing is, we're not animating. We're just getting different poses. So we're not actually making blend shapes that are going to be used in, you could if you want, in Maya or whatever. This is purely for sculptors and so on. We want to try different poses and go from there. And this will, you know, when you do these kind of things, it's best to have a mirror next to you. I don't have a mirror next to me now because I'm I'm too lazy to go get it. But do this stuff. Open your mouth in the mirror and see how your face changes. You know, everything, when you just move, a, like your uh, eyes, everything moves in your face with almost all expressions. This comes down. Although the bone will stay in the same place. The, the, the skin will come down. Things will stretch and deform and so on. Okay, it doesn't have to be super realistic perfect because I'm not really, personally, I'm not too bothered with ultra perfect, super realistic anything, as long as it looks cool and not wrong. So yeah, at any time you can see how it, what it looks like so far. Let's do this. It's a nice start. And if you go, that's zero, that's the neutral spot. If you go the inverse of what you've done, you can get interesting results. Obviously, I didn't do this, but, you know, fun shit can come up. Anyway, let's carry on. So I like to go back and forth to see which muscles can... I mean, you can essentially stop here and make that your blend shape to sculpt from, since we're not making proper blend shapes for my own stuff. But let's do it anyway. So I'm inflating that a bit. You can see my brush change up there. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, alt one, alt two, alt three, four, et cetera, et cetera, for my most used brushes. I cannot recommend that enough. It's way faster than going using the A, F2, B, C, blah, blah, blah codes. That's pretty good too, but I prefer proper one stroke hot keys. Sometimes, see, I can't move this. Or that bit. That's because the mask is actually in the layer, but it's not showing. So just control drag. Now I can move it. So this will probably move in a bit. That will probably move out a bit. I mean, if you had a mirror, this would be s super easy to to know exactly what you're changing. Although everyone is completely different. Keep that in mind as well. And that's how you make blend shapes, really. How long is this recording going on for? Uh, Eight minutes, <clears throat> eight and a half minutes.
eight whole minutes. Uh, let's go back to recording mode. Get the nose moved on. Let's turn it off. The mo the the mose. <laughs> the nose moved, not a bit, and it should. Let's move it down a bit. The mask is on again. If something's not working, there we go. No, the teeth would not move. Keep that in mind. Lips, yeah. Although this guy's kind of weird because his teeth kind of stick through his top lip but not his bottom lip because it's a fantastical creature. I can do what I want, right? I, I, I'm not going to explain it because I can't be bothered. Whoops, don't want to move that. Move that. And if you really want to go all out, you can sculpt wrinkles that might appear. Remember, whenever you're in the center of anything that's organic, the center line, keep it asymmetrical always. Because if you don't, if you do this, it's going to look like shit. Because nothing looks like that. Nothing is perfectly symmetrical when it's organic. Just so work asymmetrically. Uh, and as soon as I get about here, I tend to turn symmetry back on. But in the center, overlap and so on. And yeah, let me turn smooth peaks on because I love smooth peaks. Maybe this guy, a little dimple forms there. Well, he's already got a massive one, but another dimple forms there when he. Because some people, that's that's too much. I'm like shit. Yeah, it's a subtle dimple. Um, let's see, let's see what's going on. Yeah, that's all right. So now um, you can put that back to zero. And if you want, you can sculpt another layer. You just press record and off you go. Like clear the mask, you know, a frown. Let's do a smile. Frowning is so yesterday, everyone should I'm not going to say everyone should smile. That's a stupid thing. Let's make a smile. There's nothing worse than when you don't want to smile and someone comes to you and says, smile, why don't you smile? Because that person should absolutely be punched in the face immediately or whipped publicly. Because it's okay sometimes to not want to fucking smile. I like to smile, but I'm not going to tell other people to smile. It's the worst thing you can tell someone. What if her mum just died? Smile! You're, but my mum just died. Oh. So don't tell people to smile. This is a pretty bad smile. It looks like uh, when Arnold Schwarzenegger Terminator smiled in Terminator 2. And generally if you smile, the eyes scrunch up you get like wrinkles uh, i'm not going to go to town now because it's going to get too long but you know normally you'd put in a lot more effort all the fine little details the eyebrows if it's a genuine smile you can tell someone's really smiling by the way in real life if their eyebrows don't lift or laughing especially if their eyebrows don't also lift they're fake it's completely fake and you should tell them nothing you should just make note of it for future reference study them um. <laughs> of course the lips here would become thinner as they stretch around the teeth as it's smiling same here and the eyes would the eyelids would you know it's when I'm struggling a bit I'm in an awkward position. I'm not at my usual. I look so stupid on this character. Uh, anyway, that's not great, but you get the idea. So I'm going to stop recording. You simply drag and it will stop. See, smile. And the cool thing is you can blend these, these work together. Now, sometimes it doesn't work out. But in this case, ooh, look at that. And 
do that. But you get the idea. I obviously pulled those teeth down when I wasn't seeing what I was doing. I really like to do the inverse often when the lower jaw protrudes. So this is smile, right? <laughs> I quite like this. So let's do the unintended inverse. This is what I didn't sculpt, but it's just doing the opposite of what I sculpted. Sometimes it can look, re it usually looks stupid, like now, like a sulking devil with really bad sculpting. Let's go back to neutral for the top one. That looks, <laughs> um, yeah. So if it tells you that, just click recording. Anyway, that's our happy demon <coughs> or fantasy creature. Back to neutral. Thank you for watching. I hope that helps. I'm going to do something else now.